Now to the drama off the coast of Norway, where our cruise ship is dangerously close to tipping over this morning after a fire killed two crew members and forced 260 people to be evacuated. Crews are trying to pump water off the ship right now and out of the ship to keep it upright. And joining us now from Norway is Mary Lou Kerm, an American passenger who had to be evacuated from the ship. Mary Lou, uh, good morning. Um, I know this has been a, a wild 24-hour period for you, but at what point, uh, when you first found out that the captain made the announcement over the loudspeaker that there was something wrong with the ship, at what point did you know something was seriously wrong? We had just uh, gone back to our cabin after breakfast. We are hanging our, my purse up and our jackets, and our lights went out. My husband opened the door and black smoke was rolling down the hallway. And at that moment, the captain said, everyone leave now. Were you starting to deck you, five. Did you panic at all? Uh, at that point, you know there's a fire on board. Uh, <laughs> was there a sense of panic, not only with you and your husband, but with the rest of the passengers? It was unbelievably calm. It was, it was wonderful. And I think that helped everyone. Uh, we were calm on the deck. We were calm as we were helping each other get our life jackets on, and the crew helped us get into the lifeboats quite rapidly. Um, it, it was amazing. I, I took some pictures of people as we were sitting in the lifeboat, and they were just sitting like they were just talking with their friends. Yeah, was it a bit surreal though to know that you're on this pleasure cruise, you're on this vacation, and then all of a sudden <laughs> the ship is on fire and you're being evacuated onto lifeboats? I think it all happened so quickly that yes, it was surreal. Um, I, I'm sure people had lots of mixed emotions, but there was no panic shown. It was, it was very good. Got it. Now, you're a long way from Arkansas. Any idea how you're going to get back home or when you can get back home? Yes. Um, luckily, we are with the tour. We're not on our own. And so that company is going to see to getting us safely back home. Okay. Well, we wish you the best, and thank you for taking a few moments to speak with us, Mary Lou. We know, like I said, it's been a crazy 24 hours for you, but we're glad you're safe. And uh, thank you so much, and, and best to your husband, Hal, as well. Mary Lou Kern, thank you so much, hon.